Hey folks, this is Dan Bell here, and today I'm just gonna go over the really quick process of adding users to Microsoft Project Online. And the, the steps will be, we're gonna actually show how to add the user in the Office 365 portal, so the admin area of the portal, and then assigning the project license, just so we cover that base as well. Then we're gonna show adding the user to Project Online in two different ways. Uh, first of all, there's project permission mode. We're gonna add a user in project permission mode, and then we're going to go ahead and add a user using SharePoint permission mode. Uh, so let's get started. As you can see, I'm logged into the 365 portal. I actually navigated to the admin section, as you can see there. And uh, once you're in the admin section, really what you wanna do in this particular case is go to active users here, and then you literally just click on add a user and then you start giving names to your users, right? So I can call this Joe Demo, that's the display name, and get the username Joe Period Demo, and we'll use that domain in this particular environment. We will let the system automatically create a password and then it's gonna send it to the administrator who happens to be this account right here. And then I can go ahead and click Next and that will take care of that part of it. Now, it, there, this next step actually prompts me to, you know, do I want to add a license at this time? Um, you know, again, this is something your your administrator will, will know what to do, what licenses, but you know, may have an Office 365 license and also we need to assign a license specific to Project Online so the person can access the Project Online environment, right? So with those two selected, we'll click Next. Now, we're not gonna give any administration access to the portal Therefore, we're gonna just click next. This is the information. We can give it one quick review. Once we're ready to go, we click finish adding and we can see Joe demo was added to the active users. And at this point in time, we can close out of here. Now, like I said, we're gonna add the users in two different ways, right? So this environment for a project online is SharePoint permission mode and this one is project permission mode. Uh, the difference between the two is really the one gives much more granular uh, permissions capabilities and that is the project permission mode and as you can see in the project permission mode when you navigate to service settings there is this extra group here security and this is where we can actually manipulate the uh, security with pretty fine details to add the user I would click on manage users here and when I do this will refresh and show me all the users that are currently in this environment you can see there are two if I click on new user here that will bring up a dialog to allow me to, to begin adding this new user in the system. Now, all I really want to do is go down to user logon account here. So once I get in here, I go to user logon account and I can start typing in the first name of the person. And there is Joe, he shows up. So that maps the user logon account here. It will also fill in whatever other information such as the display name and the email address that I have here. Now there are a number of, of other fields here that I can go ahead and add. Uh, you know, Timesheet Manager will default to this user, so we'll default assignment owner. If you have any custom fields in the system, resource department, you can specify that here. Here's where I specify the security. You know, what, what role is this person gonna play within the system here? Is it gonna be a team member? And the system adds team member group by default, being the least permissive group in the system. If the person were going to be a project manager, I could certainly add the project manager group like so. However, we're gonna leave this as a team member. Uh, all in, other information in this case is fine. The one thing I do want to cover is this, is uh, this basically asks, well, do you want this resource to be able to be assigned as a resource? What that is basically asking us is, do we want to be able to assign this resource as someone who's performing work on tasks in our projects in Microsoft Project Online? If we do, we check, check the checkbox. If this person will never be assigned to tasks within projects, you can deselect it, and that way the person will only be added as a user, right? I'm gonna go ahead and select the checkbox and go ahead and click save. And that will go ahead and save this resource in here. Okay, and now we can see Joe's there. The second method, like I said, is SharePoint permission mode. This, this is a SharePoint permission mode environment. How do I know that for sure? Well, if you go to PWA settings, you will see that there is no security group here, right? That's because security is going to be handled using SharePoint permission mode. So what we do is you click on the site gear and then we go to site settings, go to site permissions, and then I can click on grant permissions here. And again, it should be just a case where I start typing in the first name. There's Joe. I wanna click on show options here. And do I wanna send the user an email? I could if I want to. Again, the system assumes the least permissive 
permissioning for this person. When we add them to the system, you can see team members for Project Web App is selected. If I were to click on this, you can see that you have the similar types of groups, except in this case, they're just SharePoint groups, not project permission mode groups, right? You would select whatever the appropriate group is, in this case for the user. When you're all set, you go ahead and click share. This basically adds the user to that particular group, right? If you wanted to see the membership in that group, you can click on the group's name. You can see Joe Demo is there and a part of that group. And now this user is able to log into both environments as a team member with the team member functionality. Uh, using either, you know, in this particular case, SharePoint permission mode, or in the other one, person has project permission mode. All right, so one more thing. In the train environment, I was in project permission mode, and I select that checkbox to allow the resource to be assigned as a resource on tasks and projects. Let me just demonstrate what I'm talking about. Here's Microsoft Project. Okay, I have that launched. It's connected to that train environment. I click on blank project. And, you know, when you're building your project like so, Okay, and of course, right, as a dynamic project schedule, I want to make sure those are all auto-scheduled and create links between them like so. And there it is, my, my task. Now, I want to be able to assign resources here. You sort of see there's uh, currently no resources part of the team. If I select Control T to build up, bring up Build Team as an enterprise, there Joe, Gem Joe Demo excuse me, shows up as an enterprise resource. And again, that's solely because I check that checkbox, user can be assigned as a resource. And if I add the Joe demo to the team, click OK. Now, Joe's there, right? Can be assigned to those tasks. And of course, there's other ways to do that, right? Click Assign Resource, click Assign, assign Joe that way. And uh, there you go, folks. That's the process of adding a resource. You know, of course, you can add other types of resources, generic material, and so forth. Uh, this was just covering those resources that are able to log into the system and possibly be assigned as resources on tasks. Okay, all right, thanks for attending. Any comments or suggestions, please reach out. Love to hear from you. Have a great day.